we were at, I don't know if you finished or not, right? <laughs> so, but I, I remember, I remember was, you got Roger Clemens in there. You're Mount Rushmore pitchers. Yeah, I got to put Roger in there. Walter Johnson, Greg Maddox. Anyway, it's always good um, to be there. Okay. Thank you. I had somebody else in there, didn't okay. I? See you later. I got Maddox already. Let's, th let's think about this before okay. we go on, on okay. tape so I, okay. so I don't look like I'm taking 20 minutes to answer the question. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Nolan Ryan for sure. Um, hmm. Who am I missing here? Which, which question? Mount Rushmore pitchers. Oh. Walter Johnson. Cy Young? No, but like. Uh, Rand Johnson. I, I, I can't pick two from that era, can I? You got Koufax on there? I got. Koufax. Koufax. I might go Kershaw over Koufax. Mm -hmm. I got Greg Maddox. 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 Yeah. Maddox. Yeah. Yeah. Walter Johnson. Pedro. Nolan Ryan. Yeah. Tom Seaver. Bob Gibson. Bob Gibson. Car Tom Cardinal. Tom no, Brian. All right, do you want to do this? <laughs> Are we already doing this? We're doing this. We're oh, okay, doing this. all right. All right, and uh, I guess it might not have been MLB The Show, but the first time you saw yourself on a baseball video game, can you remember it? What did, what did you think about it? Um, I've never seen myself on a video game. Really? No, but people have told me I'm on video games. That's cool. <laughs> all right, Wayno. And if I could take you back, I actually have your Atlanta Braves uh, draft rookie card. If, you, if I could take you back... To the young, just picked Atlanta Braves young pitcher, what would you tell yourself, and would your current self believe the illustrious career that you've had? I mean, my belief in my my abilities and like perform like career, they varied so much year to year. When I first got drafted, I would have told you, yeah, like that's all that's all I'm gonna play. That's all I'm gonna win and. Um, but two years later after that, I would have said, like, that's a miracle. You're crazy. So um, if I could go back, um, I would definitely tell myself to uh, take it more serious early on, to, to listen more and ask more questions, um, to, uh, to sponge off the older guys. I mean, I was in big league camp with, the, with three of the best pitchers of all time with the Braves and, you know, just didn't ask nearly enough questions and missed a couple opportunities that were really big. Sure, and, and um, I know it's one last hurrah here, but what, as, as well, what was it like to just be a part of so many legends within this organization and last year with Pujols and Molina and, and um, just being a part of that? What has that been like for you? Yeah, I've played with incredible list of names, you know, Larry Walker just went into the Hall of Fame, Scott Rowland just went into the Hall of Fame, Albert's going to go into the Hall of Fame, Yadi uh, Molina's going to go into the Hall of Fame, um, pitched with some incredible pitchers, Chris Carpenter and guys like that that, you know, taught me everything, um, how to be a professional, how to prepare, how to, to go about work in between starts, how to think when you're out there on the mound and um, had some incredible pitching coaches, had Hall of Fame manager, you know, so future Hall of Fame manager. <laughs> Say it louder, though. A little louder. Say it louder. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been surrounded by incredible people. It's, you know, the Cardinals have been, uh, we've been blessed since I've been here for sure. I love it, I love it. And, and just WBC, that, that whole experience, what was that like for you? And, I mean, I just how important do you think that could be potentially for the game of baseball? Just I know obviously Team USA didn't didn't take it on, but just that yeah. the excitement that it brought. That's the I mean, if you ask anybody on the whole team, and probably anyone in the whole tournament, it's probably the highlight of their baseball careers. Honestly, I mean, Trey Turner's played in some of the biggest games there is, and um, got huge hits, played in playoff series, won a World Series, and he hit a grand slam against Venezuela. Said it's the best, the most important hit of he's ever had in his career. You know, that's that's saying. A lot, but uh, just playing with those guys, we weren't getting paid. You know, we were there because we loved baseball. We were there because we loved our country. We wanted to represent our country, and we wanted to um, go out and play good baseball. And, and we came together as a team and as a unit and gelled and just loved being around each other. But the games were just so intense. The crowd was going crazy. I've never played in a, an atmosphere where the crowd's chanting USA while I'm out there warming up. You know, it's just uh, something I'll never forget ever. And you've already dabbled in, in broadcasting. And I feel I feel you're one of the most important communicators, voices of, of our generation, as, uh, off the field as well. 
How do you just feel you're leaving the state of the game? Are there any players that you're really excited about to carry carry the torch? And, and just just how do you feel about just the future of the business of baseball? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm super excited about some of the young guys coming up with the Cardinals and um, some of the excitement level with some of the new rules. I think fans are really engaging and, and turn on to the uh, to the pitch clock stuff. I think that's been a good thing for baseball. Um, wish they slowed it down just a little bit, but uh, it's it's been great. Um, I think baseball is, is uh, I mean, look at the stadium we're playing in right now in Texas. You know, it's, they poured a, a lot of money into making this one of the coolest stadiums I've played in. Um, they got a great team over there. There's a lot of really young teams around baseball that are they're going to be exciting for a, a really long time, and uh, it's, it's good for baseball. I love it. And last one for you, just a fun one. Personal pick for the greatest baseball movie of all time. Adam Wainwright's pick. Hmm. I mean... You know, it's a two-part answer because the most, like, factually similar to what we go through is definitely Bull Durham, I would say. Um, but the, the sheer enjoyment I get from watching um, Field of Dreams is hard to beat. I smile the whole time. But, you know, then, then and I can watch that with my kids which is a big part of, you know, doing that. But you know, if I get watching Major League, I could be talked into that too. So I got a lot of great baseball memories watching those with my teammates, you know, growing up in high school and middle school and elementary school too. So baseball movies have always been a big part of my life. I'm going, I'm going Field of Dreams. Well, Wayne, I really appreciate you taking some time. And um, best of luck in your final season. Really appreciate it.